Welcome to our YouTube channel, Houston DIY. My name is Ben. This is Oliver. In today's video, we'll be showing you episode two of our power rack build. In today's video, we'll be showing the me the metal works on the power rack and the paint job that we have done. Okay, let's crack on. Yeah. Okay, here we are just starting off with some painting of the power rack. We're using a roller and paintbrush and our black paint we've got. So we're just speeding up the video here, just showing the paint job that we did. Um, two coats of this black paint overall. Uh, give it a really nice covering and give it that shiny look to make it look a little bit like metal. Okay, so we've done the painting now of the power rack. Uh, we're pretty pleased with it, aren't we, Oliver? What do you reckon? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, first of all, let's have a look at the paint we used. Well, what did we use? What is it? We used um, the wood and metal paint. paint. Yeah, what make is it? Johnston's. Johnston's. We got it from Amazon, didn't we? Yeah. For, I think it was eight ninety nine for a tin. So, let's have a look at the power rack. So, he, so here's a power rack called stood there, so we moved it away from where it's going so we could paint it, as you can see we've got a bit on the floor, so that's all good because that's getting covered up so we painted it black with a um, wooden metal paint, a gloss just to give it a bit of shine, make it look a bit more like metal maybe, I don't know what do you reckon Oliver? yeah it looks a little bit like metal well. yeah, that's yeah. good though doesn't it? Yeah. give it two coats everywhere, uh, use roller and brush, brush to just to get into all all cracks and stuff uh, but no pleased with that so we'll just show you now just the parts that we're going to fit to it's so all the metal work that goes on it just to uh, let us do all our exercises all the way yeah okay so we're just going to talk through the parts some of the parts for uh, for the rack Oliver's going to talk us through it let's switch around to Oliver so Oliver what we got this is the bar that we do for the pull ups nice so that's 34 mil steel bar that we've got cool yep what are they all the brackets for the bars to go in yep cool these are the insert nuts of the wood okay and these are the screws they're the bolts out there the m6 yeah. bolts and then the washers yeah yeah so the brackets will go into the wood yeah pull up bar into the brackets shows it fits all over if you want So grub screws screw tight onto it under there, yeah, and then in the wood behind there we'll have the insert insert screws behind uh, insert nuts behind. Bolts will go through, and we've got the washers to go over just to get it nice and tight. Probably use a couple of washers, yeah. Yeah. Should we crack on? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so just measuring out the centers here for the brackets. And then measuring out where the holes are going to be to screw it in. Drilling some holes for the infill screws. And then using the Gorilla Glue just to spread it around those, um, those nuts a little bit just to keep them nice and secure in there. And then just using the hex key 6mm uh, M6 and just screwing them in nice and tight with the glue. Wipe the glue off do the same on the other side. Okay, so we're just lining the bar up with the brackets, getting them loosely fastened in. Uh, ready to tighten up. Right, so we've tightened up those grub screws now in there. Hold on, I give it a go now. It won't, it won't move now. So, uh, does that feel good? Oh! <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> they put a watch outside on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to talk us through our safety bars now, how they're going to work. Let's flip round to Oliver. You can talk us through what we've got, Oliver. These are the metal poles for the safety bar. Yep, perfect. What are these? These are the wall plates for the um, pole so it doesn't fall out. Does it fit? Yep. Nice, and then we tighten them on with grub screws there. Yeah, and then when we put it into the um, power rack, it won't fall out. So let's uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so we're going to put some safety bars in now. So Oliver, are you ready if, if I push it through? Yep. Okay. Let's hope we haven't tried this bottom one yet, have we? No. Let's see if it, hopefully it lines up. You ready? Yep. Fingers crossed. Can you guide it through now? Can you get hold of it? Yes, yeah, perfect. perfect. Perfect, Oliver. So what we'll do, Oliver, if you get get all of that there, yep. get all of that, and put it over the end of it. Yeah. Wait, oh, is that Oliver? Yep. Excellent. Right. So in, rather than the wall plates, we're going to use these collars instead. So secure the collar on, and then it gets to there, and it won't pull off. So it won't fall off if we try to do our exercises. Yeah. Cool. You get it? Yeah. Excellent. Cool. How does it? Let's fasten it on. So we'll tighten this collar on now, okay, Oliver. So we'll just do it so it's just over edge, I reckon, there. Then we put in the iron cap on. We can uh, look a bit nicer, won't it? Just tighten that grub screw around. Nice and tight. Okay, we'll just go around to the one over here, Oliver. So we'll just go like that. With a tiny, tiny gap. On end, I reckon. Don't know what we're really doing here, do we? We'll make it up as we go along. So then now, mm. it can't go anywhere, can it? Show the one. Show this other one. So push back, it can't come out. Yeah, show, yep. the, show it. Yeah, and then we can slide it out that way if we need to. We yeah, need to move it. not coming out that. Excellent. Okay, perfect. So for ends at pipes, so obviously we've got an open end there. Just to neaten it up a little bit, we've got these plastic end caps. So Oliver, you're going to put this one on first, I'll hold that one. Yeah. Just put it on end, it might not push on. Just push it on to start with, best you can. Yeah, and then we'll get an hammer. Okay, so line it up. That's it, you got it? Then we'll just hammer it in. Tap it in, yeah? Here you go. It's in. We tapped it in. Give it a tap just to make sure it's fully in. Go on. Go on, give it a good old tap. That's in. That's in. You got your other one? Yep. Yeah. Oops. Right, it's fine. Just get it in, then you can hammer it in. Right, it's in. It's in. Now just get your hammer. On the floor. Go on and just tap, gently tap it. That's it. Beautiful. Have a look. Perfect. Nice and neat on ends and out there. Yep. Beautiful. Good job? Yeah. Okay, next part is the um, the uh, supports for the barbell for the uh, when doing squats and doing the bench press. So we'll look at look at the parts we're gonna use. Oh what have we got? We've got one of these again, a wall plate. Yep. A pie. Okay. And uh, rack it off a gate. Gate hinge, yeah. Yep. So we'll go over to the power rack and show it's going to work, shall we? Yep. Cool. So we've secured them, haven't we, Oliver? Yeah. Nice and tight on them, all four of them. So lower ones for like the bench press. Top one will be for like getting the, putting the bar on for squats. So we've got one at each side. So we're gonna get another bar. So that's gonna use that bar to make our own barbell. But for now, Oliver's gonna show out that it's strong enough by doing some pull-ups. Can you reach it? You got it? Come on. 
Go on. Nice. Good work. Brilliant. It's all the metal work we've got. Um, so the one that Oliver's using there for the pull-up bar. Um, and these ones here, we make a barbell. And then the safety bars down there. And then we've got some other bits and bats as well. So we've got, um, we use obviously the, the, the bars to do the supports as well for the barbells through there. There were just some 14 centimetre bars through there. Um, and we've got some other stuff that we're gonna build some, some weight racks with. So we'll do that in another video. That's coming up in another video. Um, and then these, these, these parts are all from the same place. So these, these is for another build. And then you saw the collars and the uh, the gate parts and the wall plates. They all seem seem perfect and built. They all nice and strong. Yeah. Yeah. So all this metal work were from the metalstore.co.uk. Just found that online. Um, I think the, this barbell, the safety bars, the pull-up bar, all the other metal work I've got and all the clamps for the other projects we'll do, I think came to about £82 for everything, which are really good value for money. So I've got, I'll show you down here, I've got some other bars down here where we're going to build a weight rack, we're going to build some of our own dumbbells, and as I say, we've got the, the long one there just to create a, a barbell. It's probably not strong enough for tons of weight, but we just need a, a longer barbell for the rack because the other one we've got. About 15 kilograms, maybe. You reckon, Oliver? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Okay, but yeah, that's it. It's from the metalstore.co.uk. Real good value for money. Um, they did all the custom cut for lengths as well, but no, at no extra charge. So anything from this um, 180 centimetre one, the pull up bar was 91 centimetres. These were 14, 14 centimetres going through here, um, and delivery were free over a, over a certain amount. I'll put a, we'll put a link in the description to it, but I'd really recommend them, especially these um, all these fittings, these Q clamps as well, because they seem really uh, really versatile what they can do. So that's it for episode two. Now we've run through the second part of the power up build, which was painting it, uh, putting in all the metal work. Me, me and Oliver have just done that now with all the stuff from the metal store that at UK. Which just seems really good, doesn't it, Oliver? Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's the power up done. Um, we'll put it all in position at some point. Um, next video will probably probably be around us making the the gym a little bit better. So putting some more mats down, painting painting some of the walls, um, and then putting the power rack into its position. Then we can get massive. Then can't we, Oliver? Yeah. <laughs> okay, see you in the next episode. See ya. Hit that subscribe button and absolutely smash that like button. Boom! Yeah.